The Russian Embassy and the Russian Culture and Science Center to Vietnam commemorated the 79th anniversary of victory and the 17th anniversary of the legendary victory of the Vietnamese people at the Battle of Dien Bien Phu. Historical events and turning points for the people of Russia and Vietnam. and Science Center to Vietnam commemorated the 79th anniversary of victory and the 17th anniversary of the legendary victory of the Vietnamese people at the Battle of Dien Bien Phu. These events were historical turning points for the people of Russia and Vietnam. The annual celebration served the chance for the Russian people to honor those we gave their lives in the name of freedom and of harmony. Both Russia and Vietnam are celebrating significant dates which have become turning points in the history of these states. In Russia, to honor significant events, we plant trees as a symbol of life, a symbol of striving for new things. Today's tree planting at the Youth Academy symbolizes the memory of those soldiers who did not return from the battlefields, sacrificed their lives for our freedom and independence. Like the trees we planted, our younger generation will live, grow and strengthen. Another tree was also planted in the Indonesian capital, Jakarta, as part of a commemoration ceremony organized by the Russian embassy. The morning of May 9th saw songs and poems about the Second World War being performed and recited, while the youth took center stage to share in the spirit through dance. Joining the ceremony were the ambassadors of Belarus, Kazakhstan and Armenia, bringing with them a message of unity despite the current world's turmoil. Diplomats and members of the Russian diaspora in Jakarta also march in the Immoral Regiment, a traditional tribute where families honor their relatives who fought against Nazi Germany. My grandfather fought in Berlin and succeeded in coming back from the war, but because of the very heavy wounds he got at the front, he passed away quickly. My grandmother was a geography teacher. She was involved in evacuating orphanages and taught the children in the evacuation camp. She also dedicated a lot of effort and practically all her health and life to taking care of the children who lost their parents. We are immensely grateful to these people, because of whom we exist in the world today, and thanks to whom we received the right to live. Songs filled the air at the Russian embassy in Singapore. Youthful voices echoed the message of enhancing spiritual strength and elevating selfless giving. Together with you, we inherited from the victorious warriors a peaceful sky, a free life and the skill to win, to defeat Nazism. Let's cherish this great legacy and carry it forward to a new multipolar world. Russians around the world took time to commemorate those who sacrificed their lives for those living today. That even applies to those who are thousands of miles away from home, spread across Southeast Asia, sharing the respect for the past and welcoming a bright future.